Hey, for those of you who are online, I think, uh, is this your first time um, with the Zoom class? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to start. I just wanted to, to welcome you to our class. Yeah, it's our first time. Okay, you're from Texas. All right. Yeah. Um, Mr. Davis over here, he's <laughs> telling me you're low down. <laughs> if you have any questions online, you can just unmute and ask a question or you can type it in chat. Okay. All right. So uh, we have um, many um, computers. So we're going to go ahead and start with the sounds and then we will get back to what we're going to you know, um, our module four. So we're going to go over the sounds and I will, I also have some things to, to share with you guys of tones and the differences in tones and why it's, you hear Mahaya Barnett or the other speakers talking about, you have to make sure you get the correct tones because if you don't, the same word means something. And I, I will show an example of things. All right. Okay. Yeah, I heard not wait. So let's go ahead and begin, everybody, and we're going to start with our song. I can, um, if you don't have your copy, it's up here. <laughs> I didn't make any copies, but here's our song from Module 3. Let's go ahead and start singing. All right. <laughs> to start with um, good energy and when you when you hear us singing that you can just feel the strength of our words. I like to start out in, in a good good place when we start. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to go over our um, the previous lessons because we have a uh, few new people. I don't remember where. A few seconds here, it's going to find out where everything's going. Let's All right, I'm trying to remember where I put it. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. All right, so you can see this is um, 
or um, I want to say alphabet. But you can have a high barnet, say sound and tone. So for those of us who did not know the language, we associate it more with the alphabet. That's why I put up here um, Scoby words, Scoby people words. There are alphabet. And um, to help me learn the Scoby sounds, is I had to use English words because um, taking the leap from English to Muskogee is really hard. And um, I can give those to you. I know I don't, I know it is pretty much. Um, so these are some of the words that not Here it is. All right, sound practice is going to be alphabet. If you talk, talk about sounds and tones, you hear my high barnets, it's our, our language of sounds and tones. But like I said, I put alphabet on here for those of you who, like me, had to look at alphabet instead of hearing sounds and tones. When we get further along, we can just say, think about sounds and tones as the alphabet. All right? So like letter A, the, it's A, like in Oklahoma. Uh, that's the sound we're trying to get for the scope. The C, the cheese, like in cheese. <laughs> and for those of us who are more visual, I put the visual there. That's why you have an image to help you remember. Okay, you got the short E, it, like it's hit, baseball player hit, long E, like in eat or feet. It's two sound right here. B, the F, B, like a feast. That's why I got a picture of feast. H, the he is a he sound, like a heat. The I is an A sound, like in hay. The K is a key, G sound. Sometimes you hear the more of a key sound, sometimes more of a heat sound, but we did put the visual key here. Okay, the L. Lead sound, leader, and that's what the visual for a leader is for those of us who are visual. The M has got the me sound, like in me. N, me sound, like in me. The O, the O is the O sound, like in school. I, I just looked at that today and I was looking through and if you guys know when we're trying to present things, we are always constantly studying and looking things up. But I think a better picture, and I will update this, is the oh, oh sound, oh, oh, like boom. Wow. I'm sorry, that's for the youth. Okay, school, oh, oh, school sound. The P, B sound, and then the B. Sometimes it's more of a P sound, sometimes B sound, Finwa, like in Turkey, Finwa. You got your R. It's either Lee or D, like athlete or C. So I've got athlete. And like I told you guys, sometimes you hear the flea, sometimes you hear a D sound, um, like uh, cheesy chocolates. That's how I learned to say uh, cheesy chocolates. I will see you again. And that's to one person. And then I heard Mahaya Barnett and some of our speakers, cheesy chocolates. This. So there's a difference in the pronunciation. So it's either or. You got to S, a C, and there's a picture of a C. You've got your T, D sound, like in here, because the T has a D sound. And sometimes it has a T sound as well. This is the one I was thinking about. So, ooh, like a shoe. You could also put like the moon, you got that ooh sound. And this is the one that does, you know, flub up me and sometimes some of our other speakers who can think of you, you know, the Un sound, but the ooh sound like a shoe. The B has the up sound like it's under, under the bridge. The W has the we sound like it's we. And the Y has the ye sound like in you. All right? So this is what helps me to switch from English to Muscogee sound. And like I said, I'm covering this because we have some, some people in that are just starting out. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to go back and backtrack because that's just, you know, basics. You know, you, you 
go back and you, sometimes you have to go back to the very beginning of what you're learning, the very basics of playing a sport, catching, kicking, whatever you do. So, you know, that practice is actually um, helpful because sometimes you do lose these uh, these sounds and these uh, tones that were trying to define you about the Okay, so you see a lot of the times the Muskogee Dictionary, Dictionary of Creek Muskogee, that is what uh, we reference a lot, and also a grammar of the Muskogee Creek. This is also a good reference book. But remember, it's just reference, and sometimes what's in the book is not everything that can be um, spoken, or sometimes uh, they've got different rules. I'm trying to find the, the one. <laughs> I know, I know. I've been doing a lot of stuff on the, uh, the computers today, so I'll just let's go ahead and we'll barely do this one. I'm trying to show you the ones where I switched from English to Muskogee because it's got more information on it. Hang in there. <laughs> I'm getting there. Okay. All right. Here's here's part of what I was talking about. Leave one word. So these are the alphabet. Words. So a lot of um, times when I learn, they uh, do the Muskogee alphabet with a question, which means happy. And at that time, they just had the word a question off of you know, question. But they didn't have the breakdown of a, b, a, g, e, e. So basically, I just spelled out a question with a Muskogee sound. So that's what, that's what this is. Uh, B, uh, G, e, e. So I have that on there for anybody who uh, needs to go back and refresh. English phonetics to help us find that sound is uh, plus e, uh, plus e. And these are all my notes from when when I was crying and everything, and, you know, after <laughs> class. I'm like, I'll never learn this. I'll never learn this. But these are all my notes to help you guys and to help us get more speakers and get more. Um, interest in, in our um, Muskogee language. And that means happy. So anytime I write anything down or present it, I always try to make sure we know what we're talking about. I don't want somebody to say, hey, this is super comfy. <laughs> you know, it means you're a super hero. <laughs> Mommy means stink. Okay. So I don't want somebody to say, hey, let's, say, let's tell this person they come me. They're beautiful. You know. Native people have a sense of humor, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that's why I always try to put what we're talking about. Um, I have the translation for people. Okay, G, Jitsi, G E C C E, J C, mouse, Ido, E T O, E T O, Ido, tree, Igana. E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A N A E G A
get out there. It's two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, right mm -hmm. over your way. Just go on here. He both what? He he the old he the king up. He both what? Down. The plague. He a he the a he he. The plague. Bread. He mama. He he the a the a he mama. Strawberry. The kaya. The he he a the he a the kaya. Make a subtle chuckle. And that means make a subtle right here. Church. <laughs> That's a long way to say church. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, like I said, this is the breakdown we have. And this is week one. And um, these are some of the exercises that help some of us who are starting out, some of us who are learning these things. Say you have a, a I had a coworker named Brandy, and just practice. And I like to make learning fun. So I I test myself when I have a little bit of um, games. So there's no B in the scoby, so you skip that. B, um, me, and then. Uh, <clears throat> Skip O B. I think I just lost my track. <laughs> so that's that's how you would practice, you know. And then um, I had a, a person that I knew named Crystal. E B E C D O B. That I then also knew was a young lady named Iris. A B R C or A A B A C. And then uh, also shape C D E R E. So just go through and practice your sound, practice your tones. And if you're driving down on the road, everybody comes to a stop sign. You, you can practice it. C D E O E. You have a T D sound. T. Stop sign. You're, one of the things that sometimes you're at the stop sign, you're sitting there a little long. Make make words out of it. B O P in the top, and then B O two. Just practice your sound. Main Street. Everybody has seen it goes down Main Street. B O A P B. So these are some of the things that I I um, show people that helps us to learn. Helps us to learn um, our our um, Muskogee so um, sounds and tones. These are in our um, Google Drive, so feel free to go through there anytime. Like I said, these are just basics and examples of how we all started. Um, learning from English, the English um, examples to the Muskogee examples, like the So, since we've got that done, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask, feel free to call. Um, I have my card here, I will pass it out. It's got my email on there and my work number. So you guys, say if you guys even need like um, something that we went over that you don't have a copy of, just let me know and I will print it out and bring it to you in the next class because I'm going to say save your ink <laughs> because ink is really expensive. So before I go any further, let me go ahead and turn it over to uh, Malcolm. He has, he has an update for us. Okay, uh, well, good evening. My name is Melvin Collison. Uh, I'm part of the staff here at the Muskogee Nation Resource Center. And um, I just wanted to um, go over this with you all, this document that, uh, that was passed down and that uh, you all had signed it. Uh, just kind of hold on to it. We're going to read through this. And then if you can, just pass it back up to me. That's what we go through. So, uh, can you all hear me on Zoom? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, uh, dear citizens. I get the, the 
The Muscogee Nation Resource Center is implementing a new safety policy, which is effective immediately. The MNRC has been made aware of safety concerns, not only here at the MNRC, but at other Muscogee Creek Nation properties where classes, activities, and events are allowed after business hours. So for your safety, we will now lock all the doors after classes and session. So the MNRC staff will be present and aware of all ongoing activities inside and outside the property. So the Muscogee language class is scheduled from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. So once class has ended, please leave in a timely manner. Please comply. We do not want to institute additional measures, but we will if necessary. Uh, additionally, the days are shorter um, and we want citizens and personnel to leave the property safely as safety is our top priority here. So the Muscogee Nation Resource Center staff wants to implement this new policy uh, to ensure the safety of all citizens and personnel on the MNRC property. Uh, so I know you all have already signed, um, but for those folks that are on Zoom, you will, you will receive this copy uh, of this document next time you're in person. But it says, please sign this document below, which will indicate that all citizens and individuals have acknowledged this new policy and will comply. So yes, and if you all could just pass it up to me too, please. Did you all read that on Zoom okay? Did you yeah. Hear that? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So I know we did our nation work. We're going to go over our nation words. And um, going over our new vocabulary is something to help you. When you conjugate our sentences, you now know what you're talking about, or you've got new vocabulary of what we're talking about. Okay, now we'll go over these. Hussy, son. So I'll go ahead and say it. You guys can see that. Hussy, son. Hussy, moon. Buggy, grass, grass. Ido, tree, Ido, tree. Ido, be, Ido, be, Ido, be, buckle, snow. Owa or Wewa for water. Poli, Poli, when? Jota, fire. Idana, earth. Suta, sky. Hachi, river. Hachi, Hachuchi, stream. Polaswa, Kododamba, star, Kododi, cloud, Kododi, Bako, Hurricane, Kikuti, Niska, Kikuti, Kikuti, so easy, so easy, easy, and then you got a teacher. I am morning star, nature morning star. Let me go ahead and see if I can hear it. You'll hear the speaker speak. Hussy, sun, Hussy, moon, Bahi. Grass, Edo, tree, Hirudi, Hirudi, Hotki, Hirudi, Thako, snow, 
Sunset, a sosa, sunrise, a sunshine, 
Hasihija, sunflower. Loja Boswoji, ladybug. Dafaloba, butterfly. Jochtalobi Nitta, Afachkida, happy birthday. That takes a lot. And as you know, our mouth and our brains and our tongues are wired for English. So sometimes it seems like it's it's a tongue twister. But like I said, once you start getting used to speaking the togi, it'll come a little easier. And I, how many of you guys since we started can see improvement in your own speaking? All right, good job. English. <laughs> <laughs> But just like you guys, I can hear it and I understand it more from when I started and when I started teaching. So it's good job. Here, give yourself a pat on the back, guys. All right. <laughs> just don't stop. Don't stop. Okay. All right. So we can do that. I've got some new things to show with you guys. Before we go to what we've learned in module four, I'm going to show you guys. Um, like on your handouts, I'm going to show you guys why tones and sounds are so important and why you hear Mahaya Barnett. How many of you guys listen to Mahaya Barnett? Yeah, All right. She's always saying tones and sounds, our language is tones and sounds. And uh, I really, I really understand what she's saying now about tones and sounds. And these should be on your hand now. I don't know any of them. Hopefully, our point looks fine today. Sometimes it doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. So, tones and sounds make a difference. And the reason I put different colors on there because sometimes things can be spelled the same, but have different tones and sounds. So you got different colors of, like I said, I'm visual. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, but you've got different colors of blue, different colors of everything, you know, tones and sounds. So. All right. Does anybody know how to pronounce this? <laughs> So, husband is spelled T H E P P P. So that's how husband is spelled. And then now look at this word. How is this? How is this pronounced? <laughs> okay, it's spelled the exact same way. E H E P P P. So you could either be talking about somebody's husband. Or you could be talking about yes. And if that is a situational environment, what are you talking about? Are you talking about, oh, Marvel's husband? You know you're not talking about Marvel's yes. So, you know, that that is one way. I was listening to Mahaya Barnett, and she was she went over this the other day. So I'm like, oh my god, I better share this with you guys. So I put these over that so you know it's the uh, ink, 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 ink. So, ink, 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 ink. And you know, like like elementary school, you got that, like, this, the uh, word cup, uh, uh, and then cute, you know, you've got different words. This is the short version of the E, if, like in get. Ink, 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 more of a nasal, ink, ink, or ink. That's how you know it's husband, because it's the short sound. E -E -E -E. This one long e -E -E. So e -E -E. it's yes. So that's why I was like, we gotta show you guys. I remember asking questions in, in um, different uh, my different college classes and and they would say it. They would say it too, but I couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear the difference. So I figured if I couldn't hear the difference, I would show you guys. This is how I realized how she was saying it. And I did call her up today and I said, hey, do I got this right? She said, yes. So the first one is this one up here. Okay. Okay. 
is the content A in the H to the short E in E. That's how you know it's husband. E. Yes. All right. How many is that new to today? Because I know it's new to me. All right. I had it backwards. Oh, did you? Yeah. I will like call and I said, hey, you know, I have this right. I looked at my text when I was making this up today. And I'm um, just. You know, um, she verified what I was saying, but that's why tones and sounds are so important. So right here, ely, that's dead. You don't want to talk about something ely if you're not talking about something being dead. Ely, more of that sound. So, if you have the wrong emphasis, you can either be talking about somebody's bed or somebody's foot or leg. <laughs> so, that's why, you know, you come up on your net talking about stressing tones and sounds. And I know um, this is, I don't have this one to any of the speakers yet because I, I was uh, doing this yesterday and today, and the speakers are in and out. And it's hard to, you know, Set them down, but I will get this um, the sounds so you can hear. And I think I'm going to do it more than one speaker, so you will hear how each speaker says it just a little bit. But uh, now, like I said, you can see that easy. They talk about somebody may be dead, one person, one eye, So you're talking about a foot or a leg. All right, so. We learned something new today. It makes me feel good. Like I said, I've been doing this for a little while, and I just learned that today. Well, it was more clear. I knew the same things, um, the same spellings, but I didn't understand the tones and the sounds. But you know, um, one of the things that also that came up this week when we were talking is um, just like anybody. Sometimes the speakers. Are will speak really fast and they don't get all the exact tones, but we're learning, so we're trying to listen to it. We're like, hey, you missed that. But you know, they're just speaking fast. And like I said, sometimes I speak fast and they tell me to slow down. You know, I miss things. We're we're listening, we're intently listening on how the speakers are speaking. But you know, since we're learning, we're trying to catch everything that you need. And, you might get into some of these slangs that you know people have nowadays, but um, since we're learning, just try to enunciate and try to speak slow. I know I'm trying to do that as well. It's, uh, sometimes I'll just go so fast and I'll just run over something and I don't even say it the way it needs to be said. So we did the nature words and we did um, the sounds of that. So that was really cool to me that you can tap the tones of the sounds. So we're really ahead of the game today. All right, so let's go back, and this is quantum four. You guys already have this, we're just reiterating what we already know. Future one can't, future one can't show that someone is going to do something. There's no L grading in future one tense. That was only in module one, but it was, I am doing something at the moment. Home base. I am, I am. Right. Future one rules, drop the ETV. Add the marker upon, which is the uh, tense marker. Add the person marker, I, it's, or nothing. Add the declarative ending, S, or ES, which means am, are, is. Okay. And again, these are infinity verbs. <laughs> there we go. All right, you guys, I'm going to kick this off. 
Glad to see you guys are back. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Let's just uh, pronounce our definitive verbs. <clears throat> yeah, hey, get up. Yeah. yeah. We got the same. Hold it up. Hold it up. See here. Hold it up. 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 Hold Speak to talk. Or Jada, we should write it. Open it up. Three. Mm -hmm. A to cry. Up to go about. And go to work. Yeah, hey, you know. A bona lida, O chesida, O bona lida. A fair kida, A fida, A dot kida. Those are our Trinity verbs. Again, these are the ones that we use to plug and play when we use our templates. We're just going to go over our community verbs and um, we'll go from there. Lift it up, lift it up to run, hold it up, to sleep, lay it up, to sit, to cover it up, to walk, walk it up, to lie down, walk open it up, to play. Open it up, open it up, dance, stop it up, and jump. All right. You can see this is our first one because it's not working. Then. <laughs> you can see how we progress even in class because I usually break it down underneath. Now I, you know, now you can see the difference on the, you know, how we started out. You can see that one is like the later one. This one also is an early one. All right. We sit up, we stand, I get up, I to go, I get up, to make, we sit up, to buy, we get up, to eat, we sit up, to drink, we sit up, to eat, we get to learn, to know. All right. Like I said, these are our infinity verbs. And on our, I don't have my little my pencil to write today. <laughs> so you would just, and like I said, I love to talk about Humbida because mm -hmm. not only are we eating good, but it's a family thing. Um, you get together with your family, you eat, you have good conversation, have a good meal. Somebody asked in Mahaya Barnett's class, I think. About is there a word for soul food? And I was sitting there um, when she was talking about it. I was like, there's not a word for soul food in Muskogee that we know of. I think just the word food is a soul food for us because, you know, you know, you talk about feeding your family, being together, being around each other. Then when your family comes in, you get to sit there and talk to them. And I think that's also food for your soul because you're conversing with your family. So I don't think we have a specific word for soul food. She didn't have one, but I think Kumbada, it, it's just implied to me anyway, you know, I could be wrong. It's just implied Kumbada is our soul food because we're eating together. We're filling our souls with each other's presence and we're just having a good time. Uh, all right, so like Kumbada, which is Kumbada to eat. We write Kumbada to eat. Umbida, you drop your BTV on Umbida, get your verb stamps, H O M B. And I've seen verb stamps from some other places in some other book at Root. So if you see Root, verb stamp, it means the same thing. You drop your BTV. No L rated, you got Hump. H O M B. Ahan means going to. So you, the cool thing is, you know what we're doing here. Hump, Ahan, it. And that's your person marker. You, what is you? Is that first answer? Second person. First person is I. 
Second person is yes. Third person is okay. Close parenthesis. Nothing there. And then you just add on it. Then you add the BS, which means the gamma bar is. So that's how you would pronounce it. Every one of our infinitive verbs, you can break it down like this. Like I said, this is the template I made from when I was in college taking down notes. I had to go. I always call it long math. <laughs> so I'm showing you long conjugation. So point upon its hits. Verb stem, tense marker means going to, person marker, so that should be you. I said that before. I need to change that. That should be you. Write it in you. You are doing something. This is the second person. It's, it's correct on here. You are going to eat. All right. I uh, corrected that. <laughs> I handed out the correct one. I remember that. <laughs> All right. So we went through that. Um, I was, I did share some some um, sentences this week, but I I did something new with you guys today because we were talking about Ely or or Ely. So you know we were talking about the tense and the, the sounds. So we we changed it up a little bit what I did this week. Since we did all that and I don't have my pen, I just placed my pen that I can mark on here. We will I will show you and just FYI. This isn't published yet. Hopefully it's there. All right. So trying to go along with what we're learning. It's on Instagram, be on Instagram or Facebook whenever it gets published. The cool thing is you guys have access to the Google Drive and you guys can go look on it anytime you want to. It's here. The whole thing is here. All right. One base. Eating, I am. English translation, I am eating. For the whole month of August, if it has a food, you would put the food name right in front of it. So now you have a whole simple sentence that you can say. So, you know, if you've got the, you're going to learn some of these um, food words, just go on. And uh, just put it with that very first um, word of the day. I know I showed some of you guys before. So, to add on to what the very first slide, you miss. But Kibala, you miss. So, I am eating the strawberry. And you know with the A strawberry, so there's sometimes there's not exact words from Muskogee that translates to English, but you know that's a strawberry. So, if you're going to eat many strawberries, you can say, come again for cola and chili. Tocini, uh, Kibala Tocini, <laughs> eating three strawberries. So that's how you know it's more than one. These are the uh, new words for August, and there's your word. <laughs> oh. 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 Benediki is for uh, time. Uh, for time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get a little overzealous when I'm sharing my cool words. <laughs> That's actually the fun part of this is, is to, to play with the camera and, um, you know, uh, making all these really cool looking slides because. I'm really uh, creative <laughs> and I love color. So sharing this is really exciting. So I'm like, oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all kind of got the same look this month. Okay. It's got the P sound, but like I said, it's got the B sound, but um, what I've done. Benwa, Turkey, Ghana, Ghana, Humbes, and eating. Each. So everything can revert back to the very first slide, and that helps. Me. That helps us to. <laughs> that helps us to do simple sentences. 
and um, and learn words at the same time. I don't know about everybody, but I like to try to learn, and I like to do um, more things at once, cover more things at once. Um, I guess women multitask, so we like to do some of this stuff. I, if I can only do it once, but I feel more than one check mark, that's what we try to do. Or a lot of us do it. Just tell me what are you You can say, what can you say with that person? All right, I am eating watermelon. Or you can put, I am eating a watermelon. Edgy corn. Edgy corn base. Edgy corn. So this is all for August. You've got a different word for each day. So if you didn't hear him say it, doesn't that look scary? Just that word about <laughs> Thoma. But if you look you know, closer, I have it broken down so we can sound it out. The da go ma. So da go ma. All right. And then so now you can eat. So da go ma. Eating carrots. Now, what can you say to be a lot of homeless? Exactly. Good job, good job, guys. That's why I said I like to try to do more than one thing with the words of the day. Eating him. So it's getting ready to become the um, Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday. You can say all of these new words in the story. So come, so come, puppy. You can tell somebody, I'm eating ham, or so come, puppy, lots of ways. What does lots of ways mean? Pass me the ham. Okay, ciao. So. Baga bisi, duck legging, cheese. So when you hear my voice on there, <laughs> you know that I couldn't find a speaker to say it. <laughs> because like I said, they're going out teaching and everything. And, and um, one of the things is, like I said, I'm still trying to get those sounds and those tones. So I'm like, all right, I got it. I send it up forward and they're like, no. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah. and so I think again, I got it this time. Send it up there. You said ah, said ah. So these are these are going back and forth. If it's, if it's my voice, I've tried more than one time, so I'm proud of it. Also, rice. So these are these are all the things that are, are that we can talk about. Simple things coming up in our holidays. So now we're going to say all of this stuff. The very last day because we're going to have our meal here so we can actually practice on this. All right, so does anybody know what the plague? The plague of tea. Biscuits. Biscuits. The plague of tea. Biscuits. Oh, 
see how our our speakers have you know they've got that richness of those tones and everything. We're trying to attain that. And, you know, we're getting there. <laughs> I went um I I went to uh, a different state uh, just recently and I was I caught a good work. They were talking to me and they're like, oh, I like your accent. Walker, basically. What happened? I didn't think I had an instinct. Like your accent. Thank you. Because I'm, I'm like, uh, <clears throat> I don't think I'm too much of a twang. <laughs> so, but, uh, so, so the TDC, it, it's uh, actual translation is uh, now uh, DC. Is, so, I guess it's cow milk bread? Well, yes. Naga is cow. BZ is breast. Breast. I was like, it's more like Yeah, cow breast. Yeah. So you're saying cow or cheese? Cow breast bread. Can you check this in? She said she can't see them. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just think it as you were able to see. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Can you see now? Can you see the zoom now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I apologize. I didn't know you guys could see it. And can't see the words. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, though. So, yeah, that was a little translation we were talking about. The Lord is the Lord is the the Lord Like I said, some of the old words that people said is not the Lord is 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 the the Lord the yeah. All right. The lock the local green beans. Green beans. So the lock just home base. Everybody should know. This word. <laughs> da fumbi onions. So most of us know fumbi, <laughs> <laughs> which means stink. <laughs> so da fumbi onions. That makes sense. I mean stink. <laughs> da fumbi. As soon as I get from Budgie, wild onions. So that is, um, was it in February, March? The mm -hmm. Budgie, he froze wild. And I don't know, you guys always, you know, hear about the churches having uh, the wild onion dinners. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, yeah, I I tell my husband, I'm going to some wild onions. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Pumpkin. Jesse Pumpkin. Jesse Pumpkin. Jesse Red Beans. Sometimes when I say these, I think I say it right, like I said, something in the easy event, 
Oh, you said, oh, I'm oh, like So, like I said, if you hear my voice, I've done it more than once. <laughs> Jadahaga, traditional round blue bread. So, does anybody know what Jadahaga is? Peanut? Yeah. Jadahaga. I just found this out recently. Purple mm -hmm. peat moss. Yeah. I thought for the longest time, I thought it was the blue corn, but it's purple peat moss. And the story I heard uh, around Okamagi is the purple pea holes. There was a somebody who was throwing them out, and all the natives were like, "Hey, we'll take that off your hands," <laughs> not knowing that you know it was a delicacy. So that he ended up starting to to sell it. Just finish this out, and then we'll go to Mata, tomato. Mata. So I think that's more. A uh, what is it, Creekwish? A tomato, just like musta, mustard. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. chathihi potato. Oh, safki, safki. Traditional corn drink. A busky. Parched corn drink. That's one of the ones I wanted to see. I don't think I've ever tried a busky. But, um, does anybody know anybody that makes a busky? I like to try that as well. Sidapo, cabbage. Duck Lake Sakmulki. Fry bread. Duck Lake was bread. Sakmulki is to fry. To fry. So it's basically bread fry. Fry. Almost there. Sakonipki Pork and Hominy Nipki Ice. This is my favorite right here. Muskogee Ubunaga Bohayat. Here in the Muskogee language. And I thank you for coming. I want to say, Kadam, teach a copy. I'll see you all again.